Stage 8 is short, just over 150k, yet starts climbing straight out of the gate. And on the course, they'll be treated to the Col du Granier, nearly 10k at 8.6% average, followed by the Col du Coucheron and the Col de Porte, to then descend into a 1.8k 14.2% average climb to the finish line. The uphill start should make it possible for climbing boys to get into the break, and there being no valley sections in this stage, the break has in my opinion a good chance to make it stick with there always being a chance that the fight for the podium and the top 10 positions could ruin the chances of the break. When it comes back together, it's going to be for Vinegard, yet I wouldn't be surprised to see Benoit or Walter in the break in an attempt for stage victory. When Vinegard is there, Yates will be near. I expect Team UAE to stick together to defend Yates' podium. And at Ineos, I'd love to see either Bernal, Martinez or Rodriguez go for the stage. They probably won't be allowed in the early break, yet when the legs are good, they may go later on in the stage, on the Col du Granier, for example. Which then may again cause a chain reaction of others reacting to defend their top 10. I'm expecting Hindley and O'Connor high up in the stages ranking, and Landa is in my opinion sufficiently far in GC to actually be allowed in the break. I would love to see that happen. Chavez and Carapaz can never be excluded for the top 10 in stages like these, and also Martinez and Godu at Grupama and Chicone and GP Lopez at, are sufficiently far off to be allowed some freedom. Only at DSM or Jean Poussin at Arkea from the break, or Thorstein from an attack later on in the stage. Here's the betting odds at the time of recording, with Vinegard once more the outright favorite. For my stars, I'm favoring the ones who may get some freedom. So Danny Martinez and Carapaz are my four star favorites. Trajan only Bernal and Lenny Martinez get three stars. Vinegard gets two stars, and Hindley Yates and O'Connor each get one star. In terms of podium prediction, I'm going with a win by Carapaz ahead of Danny Martinez and Lenny Martinez. To those who've been here throughout the Dauphiné, thanks for joining. Next up will be my Tour de France previews, and for now, enjoy the Tour de Suisse.